Well, I'm right now I'm kind of under time crunch tonight from what I'm going to do because I'm under the tyranny of American Idol since my layout's in the family room. They've got dibs on it at 7, so we'll see how much we get done. What I want to do tonight is uh, let me tweak this area a little more, make it a little bit more irregular so it doesn't, you know, looks a little bit more, a little bit more natural. Uh, then I'm going to do some painting and uh, put some dirt over it as I paint. So you'll kind of see what I'm, uh, and also show you a technique um, I learned from a um, local model railroader here um, on uh, doing some really quick scenicing. So that's uh, something that's really quick and uh, if you're in a hurry to get things done, and it works pretty slick. Oh yeah, another thing I want to do is I've uh, got some uh, pits in this road which came from uh, putting on the, uh, the water putty down and that's great because it's a chance for me to actually patch some potholes so I uh, plan on mixing up a little batch of uh, water putty making it uh, real dark and uh, make it look like a pothole was patched so uh, hopefully I'll be able to get all that Got some burnt umber. I'm going with a darker color. Um, would more closely simulate dirt. Since I'm not using acrylic washes on this part, I'm just going to cover this with dirt. So I'm going to use a darker acrylic uh, paint. All right. And uh, I was also going to show you a quick, easy way of doing scenery. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put dirt and layer dirt and push dirt up against here and uh, then seal it up, spray it up with some uh, wet water. Basically that's water with a drop of dish detergent in it. And just get it wet and then spray some uh, uh, what you call woodland scenic, scenic cement to fix it in place. But you don't have to do it that way. I mean one way of uh, doing quick and dirty scenery if you don't want to go to all that trouble because after I put the dirt on I'm going to put some grass on and thinking of getting uh, a uh, knock grass master static grass applicator either that or there's, there's found an eBay um, auction where there's a clone available but let me just show you the quick and dirty method of doing scenery if you don't want to go to all uh, this trouble that I'm doing right here uh, it's actually fairly simple let me get this focused in on a little section here and I'm just going to do this on a small section just to give you an idea what's going on got my got my grass here whoops you see that up oh, yeah okay got my grass there got my paint I'm just going to take some paint and uh, just put it down just glob it down like that I'm just doing this short section here to show you, whoops, my hand was in the way, bad boy. Alright, I'm being fairly generous with my paint. Okay, nice, good layer of paint. And all you do is you take your grass, like that, and you just cover it. Just like that. And that's all you do. You know, the brown paint underneath acts as dirt, so if it shows through, it looks like, well, there's dirt underneath. And it also acts as adhesive. Um, let me get my little webcam thing out of the way. Webcam cord. Yeah, the paint also uh, acts as adhesive, and it'll hold the grass in place. And so when the paint dries, just take your vacuum cleaner and just go over it, take the excess off, and there you have a nice grassy hill with a dirt undercoat. So that's the uh, that's a fairly quick and dirty method of uh, doing scenery. <coughs> 
Uh, another way I've seen it done is uh, if you have a similar situation, a hillside or even a, even a rocky um, hillside, um, you put your base coat on it, something light like this, um, tan, like I've got here, and then you mix uh, dilute colors of, like, say, raw ember, burnt sienna. Um, don't use them straight from the bottle, like a 50-50 uh, mix. And then you just take an eyedropper and you just drizzle it over this paint that you just painted on. I mean, this, this paint would still be wet and you drizzle these colors on them, let them mix and blend together. And that actually, that comes out fairly decent too. And then you spray some, uh, sprinkle some grass on it. And it's a very, very, <coughs> very quick way of making scenery. But uh, I'm just uh, telling you about that because that's uh, something I've seen done here in, uh, at uh, shows and at clinics. And it's, it's very fast. And uh, if uh, and it's a, it's a good way of getting scenery up quick, and it looks pretty decent too. So let me go ahead and uh, get some of the excess up there because I don't really want to do things that way. Mm -hmm. 